you know, we we quit settling. We quit doing the easy things. And I, I thought we, we clamped down uh, better defensively. I thought we rebounded the ball and it got us out in the open court, even though we didn't rebound the ball uh, well for the entirety. We, we did during that spurt. And it got us in the transition. We were aggressive. We were pushing hard early uh, on the offensive end. And it, it really put them on their heels. And that gave us an opportunity to get to the paint, get to the rim. You know, I've got to find some way to balance uh, preparation and rest. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll get up and get out of here, get to San Antonio as quick as we can. Um, and, you know, again, look at the things on tape that we didn't do well. Uh, make sure that we move from those. And, you know, you can't go on the road. You can't go in somebody else's environment and dig a hole and get out of it as easily as you can at home. So we have to understand from the opening bell we've got to pin our ears back and go. Talking throughout the course of uh, our preparation, um, and we, we, you know, they were prepared for San Antonio, but I really wanted the focus to stay on on us. And you know, we, we talked about that at halftime because I thought there was too much. Uh, you know, we we'd lost ourselves along the way, and it's still most important for us to remember who we are, remember what we do, and uh, stay there, stay in that place. Uh, you know. Records mean nothing. Seeds mean nothing yeah, when you get to the playoffs. They, they've let eight teams in to compete for a championship, and that's all we need to know. We don't really care about uh, home, away, two, three, whatever the seeds may be, uh, whoever the opponent is. It's, we have to stay locked into the L.A. Sparks. It was a rest. Um, coach was upset at me for uh, my lack of rebounding, which she should have been. Um, there were a lot of rebounds that, you know, Jana Pell got, that Daniel Adams got, that, you know, I have to get. They were bobbling, hitting off my hand. I just wasn't boxing out. So uh, she didn't say anything to me. She just took me out. And I, you know, I kind of understood why. And I uh, was able to come back in and, and hopefully rebound a little bit better. Coach Rock said it was about two and a half hours before you guys got. You know, I mean, we had to come in and start playing with a lot of pride and a lot of urgency, and that's something we lacked um, from the beginning. And, you know, this game was, was very inspiring for us because we know we can't continue to put ourselves in those positions, but it also shows a lot of character that we're able to get out of them. And so we know going on the road, um, you know, San Antonio's AT&T Center is going to be rocking, and it's not going to be for us. So uh, we have to come out from the jump kind of the same way we did um, in the last regular season game we played against them um, and just be aggressive from the beginning. The way that we were aggressive in the third and fourth quarter is how we need to start. I mean, we were able to come back. Um, honestly, I'd probably take our team down 10 then up 20 uh, because we're, we like to fight and we kind of get complacent when we get ahead. So uh, I think that we did a good job of recognizing what we needed to do and just playing through. I mean, Christy hit some big shots. Um, NECA had some huge rebounds. AB played solid defense and was able to penetrate. And I think the key thing that sticks out is in the second half, we, we killed in the paint. And that's where we need to live. We don't need to settle for jump shots. Uh, we need to go to the basket. Candace, can you talk about the final?